What is going on guys? So this is something that a lot of you guys have been absolutely waiting for. So I just spent the past 36 hours literally driving all over the state of Florida. Uh, I was doing a job transporting alligators, but on the way back, I picked up three new snakes. And I know everybody's gonna be as excited about these snakes as I am. Okay guys, so um, we're in the office that's slowly becoming more of a snake room than it is an office. Um, I had to get home and scramble to get three cages ready for quarantine. Um, so they're not the best, but they are just cages for quarantine and I'm still not even done because I need to get lights and all that other fun stuff for them. Um, but let's go ahead and start this unboxing video because this is going to be so much fun. Now, after playing with so many of these at Kevin's facility, I just absolutely had to get my own. So, these two were a gift from a very old friend of mine, uh, Will, another guy named Will, I know it's very odd, but um, he got these for me a couple months ago, some of my Patreons already knew about them, um, and... He's been trying to get them to eat, which he finally did. They were eating house geckos, they are doing really great. But I was up there and he said, well, they're ready to get taken if you want to. So, without further ado, hey, you wanna come say hi? Oh, you're so cute, you're so cute. So this one is the male and come say hi. Say hi. He is a little baby king cobra. What's up, little buddy? Hey. So these guys are, um, what? You're so savage. You're okay. So these guys are um, a little more than a year old. Uh, he was struggling to get them eating at first, but they're doing good now eating house geckos. So they are going to live in my office for a little while. This is one of two of the babies. Now I personally like uh, getting baby kings and raising them up because one, it's a huge challenge, and two, um, they will become more personal with you than buying a very big king and just having it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one away because we have three snakes to unbox. So this is number one. There you go, little buddy. Now these guys, when they're babies, they love to climb. Um, they do it in the wild to get away from the bigger kings that will also eat them. So I gave them a higher cage with some stuff to climb on. I'm gonna let them settle down for a couple of days um, before I actually try to feed them or anything like that. I will not be interacting with, them with, interacting with them too much while they are in quarantine. So that was the male, I believe the male. This should be the female here. This is the female. Let's see if I can get her to come out here. Hey. family. Oh, you're so cute. So it's so crazy that this is eventually going to become a very big snake. No biting hooks. No biting hooks. You're okay. You're alright. So these guys have been traveling with me for the past, uh, say about 12 hours now, riding in the back seat of my car. So. so cute. 
So I'm really happy to finally have kings again. Um, it's been a couple of years since I have owned king cobras. But after being with Kevin um, at his facility and helping him take care of all his uh, kings that he's got there, the babies, and playing with Lilith and all that other stuff, I said, why not? I'm going to get some kings because I really do miss it. Um, it was something I did a lot many, many years ago. But for this next snake, I'm going to need a bigger snake hook. Alright, so as you can see down there, I have a, one of the four and a half foot visions by three foot because this is a much bigger snake. I have two hides in there, a big piece of wood. Now, this is a wild caught snake. Um, he's been here in the States for, I want to say, about five months. Don't know if it's a male or female. Uh, he's having a bit of a rough shed right now. All of a wild snake, as in this is a very, very defensive, not a scared to bite snake. This is a very terrifying snake, actually, because I had to catch him up and put him in here. And due to the fact that he's having a bad shed right now, uh, he's a little, little hard to grab. So I don't know how well this is going to go. Um, I'm not trying to stress him out too much. I'm probably just going to take him out of here and put him in the enclosure. Um, so we'll see how this goes. But this is a very very mean snake definitely up there with lilith on the aggressive well on the defensive level i should say um so yeah let's see how this goes good amount of the skin came off on his body, so that's nice, but he still has a good amount of skin on his head there. So I'm hoping in the new cage I gave him lots of stuff to rub on because of this, but there is the new King Cobra. You're good buddy. Hey, look. Look down here. There's a nice new big cage for you. No, 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 no. You're okay. You're alright. So yes, I'm talking to him, but this is literally the most intelligent snake in the world. So I'm going to do what I can to make him feel more comfortable and to make myself feel more comfortable too. So, look, there you go. There you go. Nice new big enclosure, some fresh water for you. beating on the door. So I do believe this is a male. I'm not sure. I'm just looking at his tail right now. Uh, could be wrong. So. And there he is. He's in. He's secure. He's out of the way so you guys can see him. Um, so he is still eating um, snakes at this point. Um, I'm going to have to try and get him to frozen thawed snakes uh, and then after that go through the process of trying to get him to eat rodents. So um, by the looks of his head, I might have to soak him here soon even though I don't really want to handle him too much right now because um, they can actually get very stressed out and die from that. So I don't want to try and handle him too, too much right now. I'm hoping with the mulch and stuff like that that he's on and the big piece of wood in there, he'll rub it off, but only time will tell. It's also very humid in there because these guys do come from a very humid area. So I gave him lots of moisture in there as well. Um, all the mulch is very wet. Two hides, so he'll have one under the heat light and one on the cooler side of the cage as well. And hopefully uh, he adjusts to his new home. Um, so. These guys will only be living in here for quarantine. Once they're out of quarantine, they will be getting bigger, newer cages. Um, I do have six foot by three foot deep vision cages, um, and they also make bigger ones, which I, as he gets bigger, I will also get bigger ones for him as well. 
So it's going to be a very long process. I usually don't show, I haven't been showing um, feeding the quarantine animals on my channel for quite some time unless you are a Patreon. Um, but with the exception of these guys, I'm probably not going to show even the Patreons because they all could die. I'm going to be very brutally honest with you guys, they could possibly die. So these two are eating geckos. I have a 10 gallon tank outside full of geckos. Um, so after a day or two, I'm going to be putting some in there for them. And then him, I'm going to try and get a snake next weekend uh, to feed him. Uh, and hopefully he'll eat it. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I guess you can follow me on Instagram for other updates. I'll probably post them on my story and stuff like that occasionally. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like the new members of the family. He is beautiful. He is awesome. So are the two little babies. The female's over here watching us. The male's kind of hanging out back there. Um, yeah, so subscribe if you are not already. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.